This is important when Isaac tells them to go make this, go get this uh, venison and bring it to me. If you go back to chapter 25 and verse 28, it says that Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. So day in and day out, Esau would go out hunting and and make a kill and he'd bring it in and bring it to his father. And boy, that just made daddy so proud. This was daddy's boy. You know, Jacob was over there dwelling in the tents with mama. But Esau was, was out there hunting and just making his daddy proud. So he tells Esau to go out one more time and make a kill and bring it in. And he would, would eat and, and then he would bless him. Um, now what we have here, and if you will find, there's a pattern that God's given us. Over and over, and especially in the book of Genesis, you see first and second born sons. Uh, the first, first comes uh, with, with Cain and Abel. Remember Cain and Abel? Uh, they both prepared a sacrifice for the Lord, but only one was accepted. What was Cain's sacrifice? What was his offering? Vegetables. Vegetables. Cain was a tiller of the ground. Yep. And Cain went out and, uh, and worked. You know, I mean, he, he, by the sweat of his face, he went out and, and worked hard and, and uh, yielded a crop. And he brought, brought it to the Lord. But God rejected it. Whereas Abel, what did he do? He was a hunter. A hunter. Abel? Shepherd. 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 He was a shepherd. What was his offering? Fat of the calves. He, of the he went and brought the first thing. He just <coughs> went out and killed a couple of sheep. The favorites. The best ones out of the bunch. Mm -hmm. But from a human perspective, which one seems that it was more... I mean, which one did more? The farmer. Cain. Yeah, he went out. There's no telling what it took. And, and keep in mind that the curse was very fresh. Uh, in that day, they didn't have plows or, you know, I mean. You All know, that was by hand. Good chance. I mean, he was literally just, just you know, with his fingernails trying to till that ground. Stick. And, uh, and and bring bring what he brought. Mm -hmm. You know, he really worked for it. But who, who did God accept? Abel's. Mm -hmm. Why? Heart. The heart was right. It's God's not a vegetarian. <laughs> more, more than the heart. He didn't obey a command. He didn't by faith Abel brought that sacrifice. Right. What is faith? Faith is believing what God has to say. Apparently, either God through Adam or God directly told Cain and Abel, This is how you bring an offering to the Lord. Uh, but also you see death and shed blood. <laughs> In Abel's offering. And, and God's trying to show us, and he even starts before that. Remember Adam and Eve? What did Adam and Eve try and do when they realized they were naked? Yeah. They tried to clothe themselves. But when God came down, what did they do? He killed animals to clothe them. Before that, what did Adam, Adam they and Eve hid. do? They, went, they ran and hid because those fig leaves didn't do whatever they felt was necessary for them not to be ashamed before God. They could not do anything to restore themselves to fellowship with God. Mm. God's trying to show us something. We can't please God. Amen. And by the way, this is before salvation and after salvation. Mm. We in our flesh cannot please God. And really, if you study Cain and Abel, this isn't a salvation passage. Mm -hmm. Cain had a relationship with God. It's, it's a fellowship. It's a sanctification. It's a growing in Christ type passage. We, as saved individuals, cannot please God. We can't go out here and, and lead a children's ministry, teach a Sunday school class, mm -hmm. pastor a church, and impress God with it. 
Now, if, if we die to ourselves and allow God through the Holy Spirit to do a work through us, that's what pleases God. There's a lot of people out there that are doing ministry mm. through, their, through, through their own efforts, through, through the works of their flesh. And while we as believers, while we as human beings may look at people and say, wow, look at what that man's doing for God. Mm. Truth of the matter, we don't know. And we're, and we're not the judge. But I, what I'm trying to get across is it doesn't matter what you do for God. What matters is what God does through you. Uh, Cain and Abel, uh, then we, we come to Ishmael and Isaac. Uh, and the book of Galatians has a, has a lot to, uh, to deal with Ishmael and Isaac. How did Ishmael come about? Remember Sarah got this big idea? They decided to help God. They said, they said you know, God's made this promise and, and it's just, it just hadn't come to pass. Maybe God needs a little help. Mm. Sarah said, why don't you take Hagar... And, and you know sleep with her and, and you're you know I'll you can carry on your seed through her. I believe that their intentions were sincere. They really wanted to do the will of God. But that's just they it's, it was all them. They didn't they didn't just by faith trust that God would bring to pass the promises that he had made they went out on their own and tried to accomplish God's will. And look what happened. Ishmael and Isaac are still fighting in the Middle East today and all over the world. But then finally Isaac comes, and what do you see through Isaac? Death and shed blood. Abraham carries Isaac up to the mountain and was going to offer, offer Isaac, but God provided the ram and uh, and they sacrifice. You're gonna see this this pattern over and over in Scripture with first and second born sons. Now we get to Jacob and Esau. Why did Isaac love Esau? Because of the meat he brought. Because of the meat he brought. Now, uh, did Esau just bring him some meat one time, and and Isaac just for forever remembered that one time Esau went hunting and brought him that meat and said, you know what, you're my favorite. He could no. It was day in and day out, day in and day out. Esau kept bringing this, this meat to keep his father proud of him. Well, that's kind of a picture of the law. What did the children of Israel have to do year in and year out to keep God satisfied? The sacrifice. The sacrifice. They had to keep the law year in and year out to keep God satisfied. Well, here comes Jacob. And uh, his mother, Rebecca, tells him to go get two kids of the goats, two, two baby goats. Uh, which, by the way, both sheep and goats are clean animals. I know sometimes we think of the sheep and the goats, and the sheep are, uh, you know, good and the goats are bad. No, both sheep and goats are clean animals. So she go, he goes and gets these two kids and uh, brings them to Rebecca. Uh, And, and Rebecca, you know, prepared this meat. And, uh, but, but Jacob says, uh, you know, what if my father feels me? So Rebecca takes the skin from the goats and puts them on his hands, around his neck. Apparently this Esau guy was like Dennis over here. He was just probably worse than, mm. probably, probably hairy. Probably worse than me. I've seen people worse than I am, so. He, he, he was just a hairy man. Plus he was red. Yeah. But Isaac wouldn't have seen, seen the color. No. So she puts this, these skins all over Jacob. And, uh, and Jacob comes in and gives the meat to his father. Now, it's interesting when uh, Jacob questions Rebecca, he doesn't say, well, what if, what if he hears my voice and, and I'm, I'm, you know, he knows it's me? Either one, Jacob had the saint could could imitate Esau, and they, their voices were very similar. All Jacob was concerned about was him feeling. Them. So uh, he comes in, and he, his father says, "Who are you?" And he says, "I'm Esau, your firstborn." 